So once you've done your first cube, you're going to want to learn how to cut some things out of that cube or out of a rectangle. So that's what we're going to do now. So we need to have a new part, which is what I've done. And we're going to click on the front plane to draw a rectangle and then make it 3D with an extrude. So first step is go to sketch rectangle. Okay, I've got an approximate rectangle and now I'm going to use smart dimension to make sure that it's the size that I wanted. So this, this size we want to have be 64 millimeters and then this size we want to be 32 millimeters and there we have 32 by 64 and we're going to extrude that uh, 24 millimeters so let's tick our exit sketch highlight it get into the habit of renaming it so you know which one's which rectangle and then we're going to go to features and extrude We want to extrude it 24 millimeters. Now I would like to extrude it back from the front plane. So I'm going to change the direction and you'll see that this arrow changed direction. If I click it again, it's pointing forwards. If I click it again, it's pointing backwards. So there's my extruded extrusion and then I'll click tick for OK. I now have a very pretty rectangular prism. If I click on this X, Y, and Z axis, I can see it on all of the planes. And I can rotate it using the arrow keys. OK, and as always, if I wanted to, I could change the shape of my rectangle using the smart dimension. But I'm happy with it. Okay, so we want to make a cut through this rectangle. In order to do that, I want to make sure that we're drawing a rectangle on the front plane so that we can take a piece of that rectangle and cut it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a sketch and we're going to pick a rectangle. Instead of a center rectangle this time, we're going to go for a corner rectangle. I'm going to draw from this corner here to about the center. So I draw that rectangle and let's go to sketch two and this is our cut so we're going to call it rectangle cut. And now I'm going to smart dimension it. So I want this side to be exactly 16. And I want this side to be exactly 32. Now I have my sketch. I, the dimensions are right. I'm going to exit this sketch. And now you'll see I have a rectangle sitting on that front face of the rectangle prism. So when I flip it around, I can't see it, but it's there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that rectangle cut that I've drawn, and I'm going to go back to features and click extruded cut. It's easier to see from the side. So you can see that it's going in the direction that I want it to go. If I, if I had that back to front, it would be going away from the rectangle prism. I want it to go into the rectangle prism. And we know that the rectangle prism is 24 millimeters deep. So 
I'm happy with that dimension, but if I wanted to make that smaller, if I only wanted to take out part of the rectangle, I could do it this way, but I do want to take out the whole section. And so I now click tick. And when I rotate my rectangle prism, it now has a slice out of it. 